We're being asked to integrate. It looks like this could lead to some type of inverse tan function. Here's why. Recall the formula dx over a squared plus x squared is equal to 1 over a arctan of x over a plus a constant. So the trick is to write this in a clever way. Well, to deal with the 6, we can write 6 as the square root of 6 squared. And that's going to be our a. So we'll have a squared. So that part is easy. Um, here we have cosine x. Here we have x. So we're going to let u equal cosine x. And then so du, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So negative sine x dx. And we don't have a negative sign in our integrand, so we'll multiply or divide by negative 1. So negative du is equal to sine x dx. And now we can rewrite our integrand as follows. Sine x dx, that's up here, and that's equal to negative du. So we can pull the negative out, and then we have du. And in the denominator, we can write 6 as the square root of 6, quantity squared, plus cosine squared. Well, cosine is u, so this will be u squared. And now we can use the formula. This is negative, well, 1 over a, so 1 over the square root of 6. And then we have arctan of u divided by the square root of 6, plus our constant finish, we'll just replace u with cosine x. So this is negative 1 over the square root of 6, arc 10, and then we said u was cosine x, so this is cosine x divided by the square root of 6 plus our constant c. And that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.